Hello, hi, Cikgu Jaga here. Okay, class. Today we are going to study about complex machines. Okay, complex machine is quite easy if you know about the simple machines already. Okay, complex machine means it's a tool. Okay, it's a tool that contains a combination of more than one simple machines. Okay, if the if a tool contains more than one simple machine, <coughs> we call it as a complex machines. Okay. Uh, as an example, we look at the scissors. Okay, so this is the scissors. Okay, if you see, the scissors has a combination of simple ma simple machines such as wedge, screw, and lever. Okay, see the wedge. Okay, the cutting part. Okay, the inclined plane. Right, the one is a wedge, and then the screw. You can see the screw over here. Okay, the screw is in the between. Okay, the fulcrum is in the screw also in the middle right in the fixed position okay so we call it as a lever as well okay so the combination of simple machines such as wedge screw and lever makes the scissors as a complex machine so scissor is a complex machine okay so what are the other complex machines that you supposed to know okay like surrounding you pencil sharpener okay uh, see this kind of pencil sharpener not the normal one okay this one okay this kind of pencil sharpener and then compass okay uh, i don't think so some of you um, more of the primary students using the compass mostly the secondary students will be using the compass okay you see the compass the one also is complex machine uh toy car i am pretty sure that most of you play played plate or playing the toy car till now okay so these are the example of uh complex machines okay no being complex machine around you okay see wheelbarrow okay wheelbarrow is a complex machine why okay it consists of a lever and you can see the wheel and axle there okay wheel and axle here and then lever see the load here the fulcrum okay so when it contains lever and wheel and axle so it's a, co it's a combination of more than one simple machine right so we call the wheelbarrow as a complex machine as well okay and then look at the this one lawn mower the lawn mower the lawn mower contains a wheel and axle and also a wedge because it's cutting the grass right okay so it contains wedge and also the wheel and axle and also when the the guy when the person is pulling or when they're pushing it okay from one place to another place there is a lever is there okay there's a lever okay then bicycle okay bicycle contains gear you know gear one gear two okay to change the speed okay and then the, 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 it also contains lever okay lever and then you can see the wheel and axle there okay the wheel and axle there so every tool which has more than one complex one simple machine it's known as complex machine okay okay so let's go to the next part okay invention of a sustainable machine what is sustainable machine okay sustainable machines are machines that are durable not easily damaged cost effective do not have adverse effects on the environment easy and safe to use so there are a lot of aspects to to uh, to produce or to generate a sustainable machines okay sustainable machines it doesn't mean like uh, plastic is a plastic is not a sustainable sustainable machine even though it's long lasting right but it's not environmental friendly so it's not a sustainable okay so look at here agriculture okay in agriculture then and now okay to ploughing land okay what they've used last time they used the cow okay now they are using the tractor okay and then you look at the okay the thing uh, the material they used to harvesting the paddy okay the two differences here okay and then here in the industrialization okay manually they use the hoe and then here they're using the machine motorized machine okay and then look at the lifting uh in the aspect where the lifting loads in a warehouse okay last time they used the trolley the normal trolley okay now they are using the this thing this vehicle okay it can carry more boxes compared to the, the the manual one okay so look at the daily life okay daily life okay last time we used to use the knife to sharpen the pencil now we have the complex machine which, which is a pencil sharpener like a complex machine right okay and then look at this part the blender last time they used manually you know it needs more energy right okay compared to now the motorized machine okay the blender i think you don't need much energy to do this okay and then see last time they used to wash clothes like even 100 clothes 50 clothes they use their hand own hand okay but now motorized machine is there so it it saves energy 
okay and also cut cost okay and then manual okay other than that um, there are a lot of lot of things actually okay in the textbook they only stated about this okay there are a lot of machines okay sustainable machines that have already produced in the world now so that it can ease your life okay so that's what we have studied today okay about complex machine i hope you all enjoyed my class okay see you in the next class class thank you bye